Yeah, there's one sixty. I used to get it. Well, I know the trail you're, you're talking about the uh, path to Mesa Verde proposed trail. Yeah, he's not gonna lecture me. I just didn't punch the right button. That's all. Gotta take a shot when you can get it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you worry. It's <laughs> under Gallagher rolling, huh? We'll open up another hearing. Uh, Kim, you wanna? Commissioner Lambert. Here. Commissioner Till. Present. Commissioner yeah. Supla. Administrator Brunner is absent. Attorney Baxter. Yeah. And Kim Purcell, Montezuma County Clerk and Recorder. Notice is hereby given that the Montezuma County Board of County Commissioners will hold a public hearing for the purpose of reviewing and determining an AR 3-9 and AR 10-34 rezoning request and sketch plan for an amendment to Lot 1B of the Rolling Hill subdivision on property owned by Timothy and Christine Gallagher located at 2B Determined Road H.6, Cortez, Colorado, consisting of 20.67 acres plus or minus wherein two 10-acre plus or minus lots are proposed. Property is situated north of road H.6, north of road H, section 32, township 36 north, range 15 west NNPM. The hearing will be held Monday, January 22nd, 2018 at 2 p.m. Commissioner's Hearing Room, District Courthouse, 109 West Main, Cortez, Colorado. Interested persons may attend and give input. Information may be obtained from the Planning Department, Room 305, County Administrative Building, or, excuse me, Cortez, Colorado, or accessed online at http montezumacounty.org, Web Departments Planning. You may also contact the Planning Department at 970-565-2801 with questions. This file can be inspected in the Planning Department during regular office hours. Dated this third day of January, 2018, Kim Purcell Clerk, Board of County Commissioners, Montezuma County, Colorado, published in the journal on Tuesday, January 9th, 2018. Okay, thank you, Kim. <laughs> Tim Gallagher. Jamie Lambert. Nice to meet you. Larry Nelson, please meet you. Seated. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> okay, Leanne, do you want to fill us in? Yes, this is a subdivision that was created. Um, there was four original parcels created in 1983. Um, since then, they've been divided multiple times. Um, this is, according to their um, covenants, this is the last track that uh, would be allowable within the covenant or within the subdivision without amending the covenants because they're not allowed to go under 10 acres. When I had Mr. Gallagher send out his notifications, I since that provision was made in within the covenants, I did not uh, make him notify or get non-opposition letters from everyone in the subdivision, but I did have him send certified notifications to everyone within the subdivision. I think there was only one property owner that wasn't adjacent to you, correct? Yes, yes. Yeah, yes. but he did send uh, the certified mailing. Um, under, I think I amended, yeah, uh, th that's their covenants right there, which which basically that outlines, and I, and I won't, I, I it says nine acres in that, doesn't it, instead of 10 acres. It's three to nine. Well, says no track shall be divided smaller than nine, nine acre acres. parts. Yes, sir. Yes, so sir. he's going to have two 10 acre tracks. Yeah, it's of which yes, that sir. fits, but yeah. So we didn't, you know, we didn't make him get non opposition letters mm -hmm. um, for that since it was yeah. already in, in the covenants. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> it did go to the planning and zoning commission last month. Um, there was, well, I told him about that and, and the covenants. There wasn't a lot of discussion other than the trail uh, and what would happen if um, a fence was put up or um, restricting access with the with the hiking and biking trail. Uh, Mr. Gallagher said that there would be optional routes that could be explored, not necessarily an easement platted at this time, um, but I don't know if you want to elaborate on that. 
where the trail sits, first of all, it's incidental use. So once in a while, folks walk there, ride their horse there. Ooh. I've seen uh, motorized vehicles run across there. Uh, the way this was split, uh, my plan, actually the house, and I had the builder out there last week actually getting ready to lay the house out, the house actually sits on that trail. Okay. Um, where are we at? Somewhere right in here is that trail. And my house is going to sit right there, my personal residence right there. So there is, if you look at, because the trail comes in. Let me get this right. All right. Here, let, me, let me zoom in just a little bit. Sorry. Nope. How about that? Um, nope. Where we, there we go. All right. So the trail comes over here. You can see this coming up around through here. There's also this trail down here that can be accessed. Instead of coming up here, Coming across this property, there's this trail down here that could continue on. And that's what Leanne was referring to, what I mentioned. I'm certainly up for discussion relative to that trail. That's actually down in McKelmo. Okay. Most of that property is non-usable just because it drops off. There's about a 20-foot elevation relief right there down into the canyon. Mm -hmm. So it's nothing that you know could be used for anything. Um, so Again, I didn't, at this time, I don't have any issue with allowing access to that other than I'd have to speak to an attorney to see what kind of liability I might have to allow folks to actually allow them on there as opposed to just let it happen without me saying anything about it. But as far as the current trail is right now, I mean, where it sits right now, that's exactly where my house is going to sit. Is this... Uh Part of the, yeah. Well, it could be. Well, I, I'm uh, sorry. What's the question? Well, the high school's back west mm -hmm. of there. You know, here's the here right here. Is this in the proposed uh, court? It, it is. Well, it could be. Here's the trailer park. Here's where you go up to Cotton Lake up this way. So here's here's that <coughs> home park, and here's his property down here. Of course, the high school's back over there, which is which is one of the proposed starting points um, for the trail. <coughs> that must be that one hundred sixty acres at your border right there that goes straight north, that like twelve people own or something like that. Oh, I'm not sure. Sir. You're thinking about this one. Yeah. Well, that's actually where the trail was proposed to go through. Proposed. But again, you know, with the options that are out there, I mean, depending on who agrees or wants to provide easements or not provide easements, it could easily move around. Yeah. <laughs> but you're saying that there's there's a trail out there now, a dirt trail or something? Yes, sir. Actually, a couple of them on the property, again, down below towards the northern like, boundary. Like livestock trails or... I mean, you know, I'm not sure, sir, what they started out to be, but I do notice uh, occasional footprints, horse hoofs, mm -hmm. stuff like that. So I know it's utilized as an, on an incidental basis, but here's that other trail I was referring to right here. I should hold my hand steady. Mm -hmm. Right there. I know how you felt. <laughs> yeah. How do you access that? Do you access it through the Laverde Estates? Uh, the uh, lot itself, we come down here, H.6 comes to a cul-de-sac right here. Now there's an easement all the way up here for these properties here. And what I plan on doing, I've already talked to Orly about, we've got to put a transformer in right here. Access is going to be right along this east property line where there's already a utility easement and a road easement dedicated for that. You'd expect yeah. it out of an old fireman, I guess. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, I like your shirt. Nope. We'll open it up to the public. Any public comment on this? I'm not going to give it to you until I see somebody coming up. State your name and address. 
seeing none, I'll close the public comment. Okay, I would like to make a motion to approve an AR3-9 and an AR10-34 rezoning request for Lot 1B of the Rolling Hills subdivision, property owned by Timothy and Christine Gallagher, location TBD Road H.6 Cortez. Second. <coughs> it's been moved and seconded the <coughs> For approval of an AR3-9 and an AR10-34 rezoning request and sketch plan for an amendment to Lot 1B of the Rolling Hills subdivision on property owned by Timothy and Christine Gallagher, located at TBD Road H.6, Cortez, Colorado. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thanks. You're there. Thank you, sir. Yeah, enjoy out there. Yeah. That's a nice area out there. <laughs>